In this video, we'll look at how to create and manage archive groups in Enterprise Vault Search. Archive groups are useful if you have access to many archives and you want to organize them in various categories. In the Enterprise Vault Search window, you can see that you already have default archive groups, such as email and file. These groups organize archives by archive type. Let's consider an example where the default email group has many mailbox archives. Some of them belong to the sales team and some belong to the QA team. You can create your own custom groups to organize your archives. For our example, we could create a group for the sales team archives and another one for the QA team archives. Now let's create a new archive group. Open the Preferences dialog box in the Enterprise Vault search window and click Archive Groups. In the dialog box, you can see the groups that already exist. Select a group in the Archive Groups column and the archives in that group are listed in the Archives column. Click the plus button under the Archive Groups column to create a new group. We'll call this new group Sales Team. Now we can add archives from the default group to the new group. Right-click the archive you want to add and select Copy to Custom Archive Group. This adds the selected archive to the new group. We'll use the same procedure to create another group called QA Team. Options in the Archive Groups context menu let you rename, remove and reorder the groups. These options are only available for custom groups. To distinguish default and custom groups, the name of the default groups are shown in normal text while custom groups are in italics. Now you can use your new groups to find archives quickly and easily in Enterprise Vault Search. The archives in the group list are just links to the archives. The archives themselves aren't actually moved or copied.